So it's Tuesday morning here at our campsite. We're getting up. We're getting ready. We're planning to go to uh, Rocky Mountain Park. There's a scenic highway there. Probably going to do a little bit of hiking. But first, I make a little coffee. Slot, so we were really nervous. It was a horrible drive over here. It was like an hour and a half where we were just super stressed that we weren't going to get in. But they let us in. She didn't say anything about it. She just let us in. She gave us our map. So we're in Rocky Mountain National Park and we are super excited. And we are praising Jesus that they let us into this park. Deer. Wasn't he so cute? He was very cute. What'd you just see? Snow. It's snow. Ah, I don't know, but I love snow. Can I throw it on the camera? Yeah. <laughs> you hit me in the face. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're about to hike Tundra Communities Trail. Leslie, are you excited? I'm very excited. Probably get blown away again. It's, it's still really windy here in the tundra. Brand new ecosystem that we're not accustomed to. Hiking Communities Trail. We read a couple signs that said that there are plants here that also grow in Siberia, Alaska, and Canada. We also saw that there can be hurricane force winds and it can snow any day of the year. So it's not snowing today on, I think it's June 14th, but it could be. Leslie said she wished it was. We just got in from the tundra, from the community's trail. It was pretty awesome. It was very windy. Leslie, what'd you think about it? It was fun, but I am worn out. They say this is an easy trail, but it is not. <laughs> the wind because of the wind. <laughs> the wind about blew Leslie away a couple of times, <laughs> but we made it. My windswept hair. Let's see it. It's beautiful. <laughs> back in the car from the this overlook that we were at we saw a groundhog i think it was a groundhog leslie see a groundhog i have no idea a, a tundra groundhog i guess leslie what you got limit number two put it up close for us colorado all right ornament number two down and i got a sticker All right, so we stopped for lunch here at Rocky Mountain National Park. Um, we're probably about to head out. It was super cool as we 
drove through how much everything changed. So like in the beginning, we were kind of in meadows and we were at the bottom of the mountain. And then as we climbed up, we started to see snow and then there weren't trees anymore. And now we're back in the meadows in the forest at the bottom of the mountain. Yeah, it's crazy to think like not too long ago, we were up at the top of the mountain in a tundra and the wind was blowing like, I don't know how fast, but it was about to blow us away. It almost knocked Leslie down like four times. And now we're just like in this meadow and it's nice and calm and we're eating lunch. And there's like a couple people around, but uh, it's pretty awesome. Super cool. So it's been a really, really cool morning here in Rocky Mountain National Park. Uh, we're about to head out. Um, pretty soon and we're gonna make our way towards Denver. We're gonna stop at Red Rocks Amphitheater um, and then explore downtown Denver a little bit. Maybe find something good to eat for dinner tonight. to the Rocky Mountain National Park sign to take us a picture real quick. We're on our way out. All right, goodbye Rocky Mountain National Park. Bye. Next stop, Red Rocks. So unfortunately, Red Rocks Amphitheater was closed. Uh, we weren't able to get in. We just pulled up and we had to turn around. But it's hard to be upset on a day where we got to see Rocky Mountain State Park. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. National Park. It's one of the big ones. All right, all so <laughs> I guess this just means that we're gonna have to come back to Denver sometime to see um, Red Rocks Amphitheater. But uh, now we're heading into Denver to see the city. So Leslie, are you excited about going into Denver? I'm excited. This is my excited face. So we made it here to Denver, headed to Laramere Square, which I believe is one of the older, I guess, like streets in Denver. There's supposed to be some good restaurants and things, so we're gonna go check it out for a little while. All right, we took a little break here at Starbucks. It's been a two coffee kind of day today. We've done a lot of things. All right, we're here in Denver and we found somebody. Look who it is. Gigi. Will and Tori, all the way from South Carolina. Good to see you guys, all, your, all our fans. I usually call him Willie because we grew up in South Carolina together, but on the vlog, I'm gonna call him Will because that, that's his street man. That's what he goes by now. Yeah, let's see his driving skills. I haven't had a little part like this in a long time. You need to be closer. I know, I do need to be closer. I mean, every other part is a little farther over, but it's, I think you're good. It's fine. First time. Leslie, where are we eating? Uh, Ted's Montana Grill. And how did we get the menu? On this fancy little thing that you put your camera on. You didn't get an American flag because you didn't get a bison burger. So sad. Can you just let oh, me just check my onions? <laughs> bye. Bye. We'll see you. bye. All right, so we just said bye to Will and Tori. We had a tough time finding Wednesday's pie shop. Turns out it's not like there wasn't an actual shop down here. There was another restaurant that sold the pies. So we were a little confused, but we found our way down. We ordered some pie. Uh, apple cinnamon, I think. Apple caramel. It was an apple caramel pie. It was really, really good. We're about to head back to our campsite, get some rest because we're going tomorrow to South Dakota. I'm sick of your tire.